Well, bitter conditions around our region this Tuesday. We're ending 2017 on a cold streak. Taking a live look outside right now, a mix of sun and clouds and a code blue has been issued for these unseasonably cold temperatures. Let's go to Meg McNamara in the First Morning Weather Center tracking these temperatures. Meg? Hi, Jess. Yes, well, we are certainly wrapping up 2017 with below average temperatures. Normal highs for this time of year in the low 40s, not the case. Baltimore, we are checking in 34 degrees right now. It does look like a couple degrees warmer than that for folks in Annapolis, D.C. You're sitting at 35. Folks in Hagerstown checking in 30 on the dot as we look to far western Maryland, those higher elevations, places like Oakland, 8. Degrees. And this cold air is not going anywhere anytime soon. Tonight, Baltimore, we're going to dip down to 22 degrees. You'll notice, though, some of us, we are going to be down into the teens tomorrow night. Even colder air, though, settling in. Baltimore, we are going to cool down, it looks like, into the teens, the low teens, in fact. So, yes, this bitter, frigid air sticking around as even colder conditions are going to drop down from the north. I'll take a look at the numbers and exactly what we we can expect. I also have a chance for snow in the forecast, so that's coming up in just a bit. Jess. All right, Meg, thank you. In preparation for wind and below freezing temperatures, Baltimore officials declare a hypothermia alert. The city health commissioner says a code blue will be in effect through Thursday morning. The move is made in response to temperatures forecasted to fall into the 20s or even lower. A code blue alert means there's an increased risk of injuries or even death due to this cold weather. Watch out, especially for young children, the elderly, those with chronic medical conditions, because they are the most likely to get cold related uh, issues. City agencies will work with city homeless shelter providers to help those with nowhere else to go. One hypothermia death is reported already this season.